New Hampshire State Parks are home to some of the most popular outdoor destinations in the state. And while our flagship parks have their charm, we found the most unique experiences are off the beaten path at some of our lesser known and lesser visited parks. Hey guys, today we're going for a bike ride down the Cheshire Recreational Rail Trail to show off one of the state's many scenic multi-use trails. Converted from an old railroad line, the Cheshire Recreational Trail stretches for nearly 42 miles from Fitzwilliam to Walpole and includes a beautiful stone arch bridge over the Ashwheelit River in Keene. The surface of this trail is mostly gravel with an occasional sandy spot, so you'll want fairly wide tires on your bike. It passes some beautiful New Hampshire scenery, including several water features and some charming towns such as Troy, where you'll find an old railroad depot. On relatively hot days, the trail also offers ample shade. In various spots along the trail, you will go through a narrow gap in the hillside with steep rock walls on either side. These ravines serve as the best pick-me-ups. The air is calmer, less humid, and much cooler because of the breezy winds that pass through them. The beautiful Stone Arch Bridge in Keene is probably one of the most impressive spots along the way. This dry laid, no mortar bridge was built in 1863 and spans the Ashwilet River. After riding over the Stone Arch Bridge, use caution as you cross Route 101 and drift into downtown Keene. This portion of the route is paved and follows the beautiful industrial heritage section of the trail in eastern Keene. While we ended our trip at a downtown cafe, the trail continues on from Island Street and runs many more miles to Walpole. I think what makes it really unique is that you're able to kind of be very much surrounded by the woods and you're on this trail and immersed in nature and then you can stop off in Keene and get to explore coffee shops and be in kind of a town community and then if you would like to get right back on the trail and be immersed in nature once again and so you kind of have a really full day of being able to do all these different experiences and get a lot from just one bike ride. If this looks like a place you'd like to explore, come visit this hidden gem in southwestern New Hampshire. Stay tuned for more of our hidden gem series this summer.